three persons who have tested positive to COVID-19 are currently on ventilators as they receive treatment. The Deputy Director of the Ghana Health Service, who made this known at a COVID-19 media briefing in Accra, indicated that the country has 300 ventilators to cater for those who require services. Currently, we have about three on ventilators. And we have more ventilators in the centers than we are because those who need ventilators are problems. Sometimes they go on ventilators when they are better, they are taken off. Uh, currently, my information, I don't know three of them are on ventilators. Yesterday there were four, today there are three. The health minister, Kweku Ajiman Menu, indicated that frontline health workers are already enjoying free transportation to work and back as directed by the president. 15 designated Ayalolo buses have been branded for easy identification at some specific locations. The health minister cautioned health workers to be mindful of social distancing, even in the buses, as directed by the World Health Organization and government. We've given ample fuel and it looks like the operation went very well yesterday. So I'll plead with health workers who are boarding the buses that if you realize that there are a lot more people in the bus and the driver asks you to stay and wait, please listen and wait and get on the next bus that comes. He clarified the incentive package for health workers. Over 3,000 nurses and midwives are on steady leave, approved officially. So prior to COVID-19, they were not going to work. All of us will get a tax exemption. But honestly, if you compare those who are standing by in the school waiting to be deployed to Gaiz, to University of Ghana Medical Center, and those of us who are sitting at home now, I wouldn't make a conclusion.